Our topic today is drawing quadratic graphs. This lesson will help you come up with a table of values for a quadratic equation as well as drawing a quadratic curve. The general form of a quadratic equation is given by y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants and a and b are coefficients of x squared and x respectively. When quadratic equations are plotted in a graph, they produce parabolas. If a is greater than 0, the curve is u-shaped but if a is less than zero, the curve is an inverted U-shape. For example, plot the curve y equals to x squared minus 5x plus 4 for x ranging between negative 1 and 5. We therefore should first come up with a table of values for the given range of values of x. This table will generate the coordinates or the points that we use to plot our graph. Let's move on to our table. The first column should capture x and y. This is the equation we are going to use and our least value of x is negative 1. So we will substitute negative 1 in the equation where we have x as follows. And the answer to that is 10. Next value is 0. Substituting 0 in the equation gives us 4. Then 1. Substituting 1 gives us 0. Then we move on to 2. Once we substitute, we get negative 2. Then we move on to 3. Substituting gives us negative 2. Substituting 4 in the equation gives us 0. And finally, the last value is 5, of which once we substitute, it gives us 4. The points generated from our table are therefore negative 1, 10, 0, 4, 1, 0, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 2, 4, 0, and 5, 4. Plotting the graph. We first draw the Cartesian plane, that is x and y axis. Then choose an appropriate scale and apply on the axis. Plot the points on the graph. And finally, join the points using a free hand to obtain a smooth curve. Let's plot the graph. Our first thing is to draw the axis, then choose an appropriate scale and apply on the axis. Then we plot the points. Our first one is negative 1, 10. Next one is 0, 4. Next is 1, 0. We move on to 2, negative 2, 3, negative 2, 4, 0, and finally 5, 4. Our last thing is to join to give us the U-shaped curve. Exercise questions. Try those questions. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next lesson.